I've seen a lot of wild stuff teaching classes at the community college. And so I'm gonna share some of those stories of what I've heard from other bookkeepers. So we've learned that everyone communicates differently, that we learn differently, and that we like to be communicated to differently, right? So we're all different. We are, all of our brains are slightly different. And our goal at the end of the day is to understand how to communicate best with the owner right? One of the reasons why you learn about yourself and learn all these things, these topics, is because you want to have enough empathy to understand the way the owner is thinking so that you can help them out. For instance, is the owner super right brain, like super creative? Might be better just to set graphs down in front of them and point at graphs. Is the owner have some learning disabilities and numbers kind of freak them out? Well, then we might want to give them a collapse report with no pennies and not even comparing or percentages and just say this is what your financials look like. There's lots of ways we can help as long as we understand. The only way we're going to understand is for paying attention and listening to what the owner is saying without being offended or taking things personally. Because the owner is upset about the financials doesn't mean they're mad at us. Okay, so let's look at a couple of these disabilities that we have here. Perfectionists. These are the people, and I have met them, that brag that they spent three hours looking for 37 cents when they were reconciling the checking account, but they found it, and they're very proud that they found it. Well, no, 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 no. We want to balance confirming accuracy with return on investment. And I'm not saying you shouldn't confirm accuracy of everything, but we have to... We have to know how to get the work done and get it done with some idea of expediting, right? We wanna expedite projects. We don't wanna just spend three days on one Excel project. Once you open yourself up and look at really the broader umbrella of everything a bookkeeper should be doing and could be doing, you learn that you really have to embrace good enough you know, so often bookkeepers sit in this little silo and they just want to do the data entry and reconcile and nothing else. And they don't learn about the business and they're not curious and they're not collaborating with the other departments like the salesperson or whoever to understand things. And often it's this idea of control. Like these bookkeepers are like, no, this bookkeeping is mine. Book The books are not yours and the bookkeeping is not yours. It might be your responsibility, but it is, you do not own that stuff. And I meet a lot of bookkeepers that really are like, I own these books, they're mine. No, 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 that's not the way it goes, right? We're, we're providing a service, we're doing some tasks to make the business better, but we don't have ownership over those books. You've all heard the term trust but verify. A hugely important logical step is learning how, what to check and how to check it. We want to know how we can do the math or how what to look at to double check our work without redoing all the work again to double check. Mm -hmm.